Dr. 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 The top of the page, Which right page? by no, we got to the Mishnah, correct? Yes, 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 we got to the Mishnah. So the Mishnah says like this: Kol Shofarot, yeah, Kavav Mudalef, twenty-six and one Mishnah. Kol Shofarot Kesherim Chutz Mishel Para. All the shofars, all the from all the different animals are going to be kosher except for Ava Para. Mipneshu Keren, because Ava Para is not called a shofar; it's called a keren, a horn. Okay, Amar Rabbi Yosef says Rabbi Yosef, "Alo Kol Shofarot Nika Keren." They're all called keren. Right, but that's what they're going to do. The So he says, Shapir Right, so he finishes off. There's no, there's no answer. Right, that means basically the Gemara says the Mishnah made a statement. All the shofarot are kosher except for a para. Why? Because it's called it's called a keren, not a shofar. So Rabbi Yosef went and he asked against them. All of them are called keren. No answer. So says the Gemara. Shapir Kamar Rabbi Yosef. Rabbi Yosef was correct. Right. Rabbi Yosef is correct. So therefore, why didn't anybody answer it? Rabbanan, kol shofarot with kru shofar with kukeren. He said, no. According to the rabbis, all the shofarot were also called keren and also called shofar. Meaning there was no exclusivity on one name. They were also both. You understand? Also shofar and also keren. Right? That, no, no, no. They're both. They're both things. Also shofar and also keren. The para is called only a keren. Because that's what the Torah says. The shofar, but it's not called the shofar. Meaning wow. it only has one of the two names. It doesn't have both of the names. Right. It says in a pasuk, mm-hmm. So you see from here, are called also the keren. Okay? No, we should do that. Rabbi Yosef is going to tell you, the para nami shofar. Even of a para, it's also called the shofar. Why? It says in a pasuk, V'titav l'ashem mishor par. What does that mean, V'titav l'ashem mishor par? Im shor, lama par, vim par, lama shor. One second, is it a par or a shor? So it says the Gemara, Ela mai shor par, what does it mean, shor par? Right, it says, shofar, shor par, shor par, shor par. Right, you do it very quick, shor par, shor par. Sounds like shofar, so that's a shofar. Which means the milim shor par, right, we are actually going to make them into one word. And therefore we say, which means that the, the tefillah to Hashem is going to be much better, right, than even tkiat shofar. So therefore, if so, even the shofar of a para is called shofar. Because again, what do we just say? Shor par. If we are saying shor par is a shofar, par, we just said from a para is not good. Because it's a par, it's a kar, uh, keren. But when we, ju- when we just said it's supposed to be good. Rabbanan, but according to the rabbis, it's like Ramatana. Davan, Ramatana, but says Ramatana. My shor par, what does it mean, shor par? G- right? Shehu gadol ke par. Which means that in the day that he's called a shor, right? It's gadol ke par, which is like three years. Which means a uh, shor is even an egel ben yomo is called a shor. Meaning like this, certain animals, when they are born, they are called a certain name. And then when they grow up, they're called something else, just like a human being, right? I'm not saying that a human being is an animal, but some of them are. So it all depends. So what happens is as follows, yeah? What happens is that you called a baby, mm-hmm. right? Then you have, you right? Some people on, on I've never seen animals, animals also on phones, but I'm saying that you see everything, right? right? He says like this, he says that right, you've got children, toddlers, you've got, you know, like babies, you've got oh, after infants, yeah. then you've got Their each names. one, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Each one, yeah. the turns yeah. into the yeah. Exactly, yeah. which means that each each thing, it goes up, yeah? Each one, it goes up in, uh, in what's it called? In in levels, okay? So then it becomes children, then after children becomes uh, youth or teenagers, and then, you know, it becomes, uh, you know, like, uh, you know, continues going up until finally they become big grown-up men, okay? Fine. So it says over here, so the question is, a shore, even an egel, binyomo, is called a shore. So he says it's considered like a par, which is only up to shalosh shanim. Okay? So he says, yes, that's what it says. Even an egel, binyomo, karu is shore. Okay? So yakedol kipar, which is like ben shalosh shanim. So kavanata pasuk is, the shore rishon, shenivra, maase bereshi, was already nivra mitchila, right? Like a gadol par. Like a par, which is gadol. So ula, ula hainu amar, but it's still called a shore. Ula Amar, Ula comes and he says, I know Tamad Rabbanan, the reasoning of the rabbis is like Rav Chasta, right? The Amar Rav Chasta, but says Rav Chasta, Why is it that the Kohen Gadol does not go inside of the Kodesh Kodeshim with Big Dezahav? Why is it always Big Dezahav? So Lavod Avodah to do the Avodah in the Bet Amidash. Answers the Gemara, Lefishen Kategor Nasir Sanegor. 
the kategor cannot become a sanegor. The accusation cannot become the defendants. They can't flip. They can't be a double agent. You understand? When he goes to come and to defend someone, right? Or he goes to, he can't all of a sudden become the, the prosecutor, cannot become the defendants all of a sudden. Right? It just doesn't work. You understand? It's the wrong job. So therefore, the exact same thing that happens. What was the accusation? The gold. The Egel Azav, the Egel, was made out of what? Out of the gold. So the Egel Azahav, which was made out of gold, was the accusation against Ami Sami. All of a sudden, comes on Kippur, you want him to go into gold, right? Inside the Kosh Kodashim. So the accusation cannot become the defendant. So because of that, just put on Big De Lavan. So says Gemara, Velo, and no, Paika, sometimes you do have that. The Dama Par, the blood of the Par is sprinkled, right? In front of the Kaporet, Right, in the Kodosh Kodoshim. So you're right. The clothing is not going golden clothing, but the blood of the par is taken inside and it's put on the kapodet. Now, one second, one second, one second. Now, if you're going to tell me, en kategor the blood of the par, uh, the para, uh, the egg, it came from the par. So therefore, again, you have the same concept. So answers are going to know, oil vishtane ishtane. Since it became blood, it's not recognizable that the blood is from the blood of a par. So it's not a kategor anymore. Meaning, if you have gold, you remember, you remember gold. Gold, it has some type of a, of a connection that you, you see and you see a link right away. The blood, you know what blood it is. Blood of a par, blood of a this, blood of the that. You don't, you're not going to make a connection once again. I see the blood. What kind of blood is it? And the, yeah, you do all this. But the animal is okay. The animal is outside. We're talking about going into. No, we're talking about going into the Kodosh Kodoshim. To be it's a commonality, but it's not exclusive. To yeah, it. there's no exclusivity here. Yeah, yeah, he's not even with us. No, no, so ask the Gemara, ask the Gemara, Ve'ika, Aron, Ve'chaporet, Ukruvim. Says what? You have the Aron, right? Kaporet, the Kruvim. Yeah? I can also repeat like a Tuki. Yeah? He says, Chotev bal Yakrim, Kamrinan. He says, Hotev Bal Yakriv, we're talking about, which means, right, we're not coming, we're not saying, right, as the following. We're not going to come and say that Chote is not going to come and bring it, something which is going to come and maskir Cheto. Meaning, a person that comes and he sins, he's not going to bring that which reminds him of the sin right before the Kapara. When you want an atonement, you want to completely erase it. You don't want to bring it with you, right? You don't want to bring the dirty laundry with you. You want to get rid of it. You want to completely that. So that's what he says. So says the Vaika Kafu Machta. Yeah? You have the Kafu Machta. One second. You have the Kafu Machta. What's the Kafu Machta? The Kafu Machta was made out of gold. And the Kafu Machta is going inside. The Kafu was used for the Ketoret. And the Machta was used for the Gechalim, for the coals. Right? So the incense was brought on the Kafu, on the spoon. And the Gechalim, was, which was brought on the Machta, which was brought on the shovel. So the coals are brought on the shovel. So now that is brought inside of the Kodosh Kodoshim. And it is made out of gold. So what are you now telling me that gold is not brought in because we don't want gold in the place of the kapara? And that's why we didn't have the big dezahav on the Kohen Gadol, right? But the blood, it changed. So what about the kaf and the machta? So it's made out of gold. gold. It was gold. It was made out of gold. So, so that's the question. The it was brought what into the Kodosh Kodoshim. The Ketoret is brought into the Kodosh Kodoshim. Machta is brought into the Kodosh Kodoshim. That's what Gemara is asking. Answer the Gemara. We're talking about the chote. He comes and he says, We're not saying, He says, No, it's only putting it on as a clothing. Because when you put on a clothing, remember the clothing, the clothing is a it gives a person kavod, a person's clothing is mechabdai, it gives you kavod. There, you're not going to get dressed. Right, with something which reminds you of the sin, which means that you're not going to come, right? Imagine right now a, a guy comes and he makes counterfeit dollar bills, right? They come, they take him to court, right? And he comes into court with a suit made out of all the hundred dollar bills, right? It looks like a cool suit. Yeah, look, everything made out of hundred dollar bills. Imagine a person will want to just take it out just to get the bills, right? But it's all a suit fully made of what? Hamor. What are you doing? You're coming in with the 
<laughs> every single time the judge is going to see you, he's going to come, boom, you're gone. You are saying, well, what are you doing? Right? Don't make a fool out of yourself. So the same thing. The clothing, that's when you're not allowed to do it. Okay? So says the Gemara, Ah, you're the big Dezahab outside. Right? Because that's what you do a big Dezahab. And the big Dezahab is outside of the Kodesh Kodeshim. He says, no, I mean, we're not talking about the inside. Because where's the true Kapara on Kippur? On the inside. Why is Kippur different than any other day of the year? Every day of the year you have Kaparot, and you have uh, Korbanot, and on, uh, you have Korban Musaf of Rosh Chodesh, which is also another type of a Kapara. And you have, because Kippur, you go inside. That's the only difference. So because of that, the going inside the Kodesh Kodeshim is going to be the difference. So says the Gemara, Shofar Namim Bachutu. <laughs> One second, where do you blow the Shofar? You don't blow the Shofar on the inside. Tzkiyat Shofar is not an Avodah on the inside, right? It's on the outside. So if it's on the outside, just like you could wear a big dezahav outside, you could also blow the shofar outside. And even if it's going to come from a para, what do you, what do you care? Why? Because Kategor and Senegor, what's the connection? So it says, no. The shofar, kevan de lezikaron hu, kebifnim dami. Very important. People don't understand this. People think to blow the shofar, as long as you have good technique, yeah, anybody could blow the shofar. Chas shalom. This is brought down in the Mishnah Baram. We brought it down. The Kiat Shofar, since it's Lezikaron, it's Kibifnim Dami. What does that mean, Kibifnim? It's like you're going inside the Kodosh Kodashim, which means that not every single person can come and blow the Shofar, right? We have somebody that he knows to blow the Shofar, incredible. He doesn't come to Shachrit every day. He'll come once in a while, this, that. You're not going to give him to get Shofar. Ah, but he knows better than everybody else. Kibifnim Dami. Do you take the Kohen Gadol that knows better or the Kohen Gadol that's the most religious, the most pious? That's what you have to know. The Kilifnim Dami makes it, and now it's Mamash. You're outside on Rosh Hashanah and you're blowing the Shofar. You're in the middle of the Kodesh Kodoshim. Just like the said that Avodah on Kippur, right, it's as if they're going into the Kodesh Kodoshim and you're doing the entire right service. So to the Tkiyat Shofar, you're inside the Kodesh Kodoshim. Okay? So says the Gemara, the Hatana Mitneshu Keren Kama. Says, one second. Why are you telling me now that the entire reason is because Sanegor, Kategor, accusations, defendants, and because of, you know, Kilif Nindami? The Mishnah said that the reason why you don't blow of a para was not because of that. It's because it's called a Keren. Not because of uh, all the other things that you're telling me now. You're giving me a lot of Musar. But the, the Mishnah told me, Bimide Shu Keren. So it says, Gemara, Chada Ve'od Kama. What does it mean, Chada Ve'od Kama? Chada, number one, then Kategor Nase Sanegor. Because the category cannot become a Sanagor, which means the accusation cannot become the defendant, right? The, the accusation team, how do you call it? The prosecuting team cannot become the defendants, right? The old and another reason is the reason of the Tana of Mishnah. Because it's called the Keren, it's not called the Shofar. When do you say Keren category is not called the Sanagor? When do you say Keren category is not called the the inside? By Shofar and the Shofar is going to be on the outside. With Kamarta, ah. And that which you come and you said Neshu Keren, all the Shofar are called the Keren. Meaning the Machloka between them are on two points, not on one point. Meaning even, even though you only see in the Mishnah one topic, there are two topics. And each one argue in both topics. Tanakama and the Biyose, each one on two different topics. Number one, is the Tkiyat Shofar considered Kilitni? And number two also, right, is it because of the Shofar and Keren? Uh, the shofar and keren? Oh, two different, man, two different man. questions. Okay. Abaye comes and he says, Hainu Tamay the Rabbanan, the reasoning of the Rabbanan is Shofar Marachmana velo Shnaim Shosha Shavuot because two and not one and not two. Vehad the Para and that which the Para, right? Kevan the Kai Gilde Gilde, right? Since it's made, right? Gilde Gilde, which means one on top, meaning it's made out of Shavuot. It's made out of like layers. Okay, because in every single year it has a new she, it has a new Shichva. A new layer, right? And it's recognizable. So it looks like two or three shofarot. Okay? So it says, but I thought that the entire reason was because it's keren. So he says, Chada ve'od kama. He says it's one and another reason. Chada, number one, the shofar echad amalach manam loshan mishosh shofarot. Ve'od mibnei shu keren, also because it's called the keren. You understood? So now we just told you a new concept in the shofarot, which obviously they don't know, but they're talking. So the concept was is that by the keren of the para, every single year it gets a new shikhva, it gets a new layer. Not all the shofarot are like that. Meaning all the other shofarot, it stays the same the entire time. The shofar of the para, every single year makes a new layer. 
So therefore, it looks like a few shofar. It's not one shofar. Because every single year, it's like a new layer. Right? It grows a new layer. But Rabbi Yosea, Malachar, Rabbi Yosea is going to tell you. That which you just said, shofar echad, malach, 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 shofar, 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 given the michab re'adadi, but since they're all connected, they're considered one. I Meaning, you're right. They do, they do grow layers. But it's all connected. So it's all connected. It's one entity. We'll come out. Ah, now you told me it was because of it's a keren. Kodesh put are also called keren. So basically, again, you have the same thing. That means basically, remember one thing. Rabbi Yosef is always arguing on Tanakama, and it's coming out that he's arguing now on two things, two points, not only just one point. Okay? My mashma dahi yuvla lishnat bichau says the Gemara, who told you that the lashon of Yovel, because it says bimshoch keren hayovel, who told you that the Yovel is a lishna of an ay? Right? Dichra baramit. Right? How do you know that it's a, right? How do you know that it's a, it's an ay? So I said the Tanya, because we learned in a brayta. Amar Rabbi Akiva says Rabbi Akiva, "Kashalachti laAravia." I went to Arabia. Right? Are you calling the Dichra Yuvla? They used to call to the Ail a Yuvla. If Amar Rabbi Akiva and says Rabbi Akiva, "Kashalachti legalia." When I went to Galia, here it says that it is Chevel Eretz Mitsuyam by Italia, a certain place. Where? Where is it? Oh, well, Italia. Some people say the Kavanah is Sutsarfat of nowadays, right? And some people say it's Hevel Eretz Misuyam in Italia. In Italia. In Italia. Okay? Shayu Korin Lenida Galmuda. Because they used to call a woman that she's an Ida Galmuda. Remember, Galmuda is because she's Kilu alone. She's a loner. And why? Because usually when a woman's an Ida, she's segregated. So therefore, that's what they used to call. So therefore, it's like Lenida is Galmuda. So therefore, he comes and he says, Galmuda. Right? My Galmuda, what does it mean Galmuda here? It says, Gemula da, Muvdelet da. She's separated. She's segregated. Mibala from her husband. Meaning she's separated from her husband. At the end of the day, she's separate. Okay? The Amar Akiva says, Vikiv, the Shlachti Lafriki, when I went to Africa, here it says like the North Africa, right, of nowadays. Yeah? North Africa, Morocco? I don't know. It says in North, North Africa. Yeah? No, no, when they say so no, he says, says, so he says, <laughs> So these to call Mea Kesita. The main of Kamino, what's an of Kamino? Le Feruche to explain Mea Kesita Doraita. The Mea Kesita and the Doraita, which means Mea Danke, 100 mouth, which means in the Torah, when it says Mea Kesita, we just wanted to understand how do you explain it because of what goes on in North Africa. Amar Rabbi Rabbi says, Where do you think you want to bring the Kesita? No, it's what? written in the Torah, Mea Kesita. That's written in the Torah, Mea Kesita. So what is that? That is Mea Danke. How do they know that? Because since in Africa, they call the Ma'a Kesita. So when you say 100 Kesita, it means 100 Ma'a. Ma'a was also a form of money. Okay? Oh, okay? Okay, that means basically, uh, that means according to what they used to call it in certain places, that's how they understood what was written in the Torah. Okay? Amar Rebbe, Rebbe says, Teshalakti lekrechei ayam, ayu korin le mechida, kida. Okay? What does that mean? My nafkamina. What's a nafkamina if they used to call a mechida, kida? So he says, le perushe, to explain, be kivri ashe keriti li, beretz kenan, shama tik bereni. Yaakov Avinu comes and he tells his children, uh, in the yeah. kever which he dug for himself. We thought, Shakiriti means right to 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 dig, right right is to dig. He says no. Kariti is nashon mechira that he bought. He bought for himself. That's why they used to call mechira kira. So therefore, when the Torah says be kivri asher kiriti li beretz kenan shamatik bereni, it means in the in the kever that I bought for myself in eretz kenan. That's where I want you to bury. Yes, which the means that we give an entire uh, we give an entire uh, shiur on this. So basically, the lashon of lashon hakodesh was spread out amongst all the languages as well. So even in many languages, you will still have the names of lashon hakodesh in that language, and that's what we're trying to bring down. Amar, yes, okay. Amar Bishimon Lekish says Bishimon Lekish also. Keshalachti letchum kan nashraya. When I went to a certain place called kan nashraya, you kuring lekala ninfi. This is called a kala a ninfi. It's a Greek word, ninfi. Ultanegol, they used to call it sechvi. 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 I don't tell us sechvi. Bin alachim yomal. Lekala ninfi. My car word yefenof mesos kolare. Yefenof means ninfi. It's like a kala yafa. It's a beautiful kala. Ultanegol sechvi. I'm going to read the Gemara. We better be a Rabbi and we make our words up. Mishat batuchot chokma or mi natan la sechvi bina. Mishat batuchot chokma elu klayot. The kidneys. The kidneys have a chokma. Omi natana sirvina is a tarnegol, right? Why? Because the tarnegol has a chokhmah of understanding the difference between yom and life. That's what he's saying. 
because that's what he's trying to say. Because it says in the pasuk already. What is a sechvi? The bina is given to yeah, the tarnagol. Why? Because the tarnagol understands the difference between night and day. That's why he starts coming. I don't know. That it doesn't yeah, say. This it is my question. Levi kla lahu atra. Levi comes and right. He went to a certain place. Ata gavra lekame. There was somebody that came in front of him. Mamale and he told him kavavam bet kavan planya. Right. This person he stole. He stole from me money. He says, what does it mean? What is Kav'an, Tlanya? What is Kav'an? So Atta Shadim, he went to ask in the Beit HaMinrash, Amrule, they told him, Gazlan, Amalecha. He told him, no. When he said that this is Kav'an, Tlanya, he meant Gazlan, Tlanya. But he's a Gazlan. Because imagine right now, somebody comes, they speak to you. He goes, nah, he's a Kav'an. Kav'an, what's a Kav'an? Go to the Beit HaMinrash, what's a Kav'an? Gazlan. He's a thief. Atta Shil Be Midrash. So he went and he said, it's a Gazlan. Why? The thief. Right? If I was over there, right? I would have told them, right? how did he do that? Why did he do it? Why did he do it? He thought he was doing an avera. He thought that he did some avera of Gilu so he didn't want to start asking, what did you do? With who? Uh, you know, why? He didn't want to start the... Uh, so imagine a person comes, he says, uh, Rabbi, I did an Avera. And you're like, you know, like, okay, so what did you do? With who? Uh, you know, what? Uh, was she married? Uh, you, you're going to start, you know, you, you don't, uh, okay. You know, he didn't want to, he didn't want to start coming and start asking a million and one questions because it wasn't uh, Matim. But if it's going to be with stealing, then he wants to understand what it is. So therefore he could ask, why did he steal from you? What happened? Maybe you think that that was still, maybe he wasn't, maybe, you know, then you could go into it. So says the Gemara, lo havu yadin rabbanan. Right, the rabbis did not know. Right, like these are the tamidim of Rabbeinu Kadosh. They didn't know my serugin. What does it mean, serugin? We do netilat edaim. The serugin. What is serugin? So Shamo Lamata the Rebbe. He heard the maid servant of Rebbe. The chazitin who Rabbanan the v'alei piskei said that they were coming in, in and out. Kutzot kutzot. Meaning they didn't all come in one time. Right, they were going in groups. Right, one group in, one group. Amra lehu. Right, yeah. Imra lehu. So she went and she told them, I'm not item nichasim serugin serugin. When you guys gonna come in like a you know, part by parts, right? That means that's what it means. Sirugin meaning mat, mat, little by little, right? That's what you do. Little, 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 right? It's like, uh, so he says another thing. They didn't know what it was explanation of halal glogot. It's a brighter that's talking about that achilat halal glogot makes a person come and they have a seminal discharge. So therefore you don't give it to a zav during the seven days of his cleanliness, right? In order to purify him. So the question is, what is that? Meaning, if I'm going to tell you now, don't eat this certain food because it's going to cause a person to have a seminal discharge. So what is it? So we keep careful from it. So Yom Achad, they once heard, they heard the maidservant of Rebbe, the Chazu Gavra, that she saw that somebody was coming, that he was Mefazer Amin Yerek, which is called Parpachina in Aramaic. And she told him, So therefore, from there, they already knew what is Chalog Lecha. I still don't know what it is, because it says it's Parpachina. Whatever in Aramaic that means, I don't know if he's going to trans- translate that there, but it doesn't say anything over here. Okay. Ah, it says here regela. The amenu mechuna is says b'shem b'shem regela. Regela. That's what it says. Rogalach. No, not rogalach. Right. Yeah, it's a herb. It's a it's a vegetable. So regela, right? This brings uh, seminal destruction. Chalaglagot. Okay. That's chalaglagot. Ah, that's chalaglagot. Yeah. So love you there, Rabbi. My my salsele out from Mecca. He says, right? He comes and he says, right? You put shum. That's already good enough, right? Salsele out from Mecca. What is salsele? Right. So one one day they heard the maid servant of Rebbe that she said la ugabra da kamapech bisare. He was coming and he was playing around with his taltalim. Some people they come and they play around with their hair. Yeah. So what happened? Amrale. Yeah. Whatever's left, they want to try to to enjoy. Amatay tam salsele b'sarecha. So he said, what are you going to be misal sel besarot? Yeah, yeah. So love, love you there. So therefore, that's how they found out. I mean, basically from the main servant of Rebbe, they were able to understand the different gimarot or different things that were going on. Love you there in the banana. The rabbis didn't know. But tata ben tata ashved. Yom achad shemel. Right. Shamol amitid ve Rebbe davet amra. She was telling her friend. Shakil tateta ve tati bete. What's a matate? Broom. Broom. So that's what you found out. She heard it from the, the main servant. The main servant. The rabbis didn't know, right? You're going to throw on Hashem everything that you have, and He's going to support you. So he went, there was one time that he went with the Aravi, 
that he was carrying something on his back. And he told me, right, come and take your, your burden, and throw it on my gamal. So you see from here that the word yahavecha is masacha, that was your burden. And he threw on Hashem your burden, and he'll take care of everything. Right? That's what we have to do. We have to throw on Hashem everything. And he'll take care of the rest. Okay? Says the Mishnah, that was a Musar for today. Okay? Okay, fine. Fine. Shofar shel Rosh Hashanah. Right? The Shofar of Rosh Hashanah, right? It says over here, we're in the Mishnah. Kavav Mubet. Shel Yael. Right? Ava Yael, which is a type of a, a wild animal. Pashut. Right? It's Yashar. Yeah? It's a little wild. Okay. I don't, I don't want to... Okay. Right? Pashut. What does it mean, Pashut? Nice. It means oh, that. that the Takeren of the Yael is Yashara. It's very straight. Oh, They're very straightforward. Yeah, yeah. yeah you heard? They're very straightforward. Yeah. That's what it says here. Yeah? yeah. <laughs> He's talking about his wife. It's okay. What? It's a wild animal, it says here. Why? Wild animals. Yeah. It's a min... Ez bar. It says it's a type of an ez bar. It's a wild ez, a wild goat. Are you listening? It's a wild goat. A wild goat. That's what it says here. Hayael muskeret betanach kama pamim. And it says it's a ako. The ako is the yael. Are you listening? Ako. Ako is also yael. Aleph kufla. Ako. You know what is ako? No, that's an ayin. And you work with a kuf. I'm talking about aleph kuf vav. Ako. Okay. So it says here. Upiv metzupe zahav. Yeah. Upiv metzupe zahav. So he says. He says. He says. So the mouth is full of uh, gold. <laughs> so it says there's going to be two chatzotzrot. Because if you're going to come and you're going to be in the middle and you're going to be blowing the shofarot, which means like this. When you're going to be tokea be shofar, you're supposed to be ma'arich in the shofar. Okay, that means after, right? The, sh- the chatzotzrot, they're mekatzrot, right? Which means that when you come and use the chatzotzrot, which are the trumpets, they're short sounds. They're not long, long sounds. The shofar is a long sound, okay? Now it says, utaniyot, utaniyot, bezecharim. So again, one more time. The shofar shel Rosh Hashanah, they used to do it in the Beit Midash with the Yael, right? Which was very straight. The piv used to be made out of gold. And the shte chatzotzrot minat stadim. On the two sides were the chatzotzrot. The shofar used to be marich, and the chatzotzrot was mekatzrot. Because obviously the mitzvah was done with the shofar and not the chatzotzrot. So the shofar purposely was done longer than the chatzotzrot. With ta'aniyot, on ta'aniyot, it was done with the shofarot of zecharim. Zecharim means of males, right? Male sheep. Shem kufin, which are bent, right? Upiyem and supiyem keset. It was with silver, not gold. Ushte chatzotzrot be'emtza. Now here the opposite. The shte chatzotzrot were in the middle, right? Shofar was mekatzer, chatzotzrot marivot. So therefore, the chatzotzrot would take longer than the shofarot. Shemitzvat ayom chatzot because the mitzvah of the day is on chatzot. So whatever was a mitzvah of the day, it used to go longer right then. But it was never by itself. There was no exclusivity. It was always together with other with other sounds as well. Shavei yovel lerosh hashanah l'tkiya. It says over here, right, that you see, you see everything that goes on in mm-hmm. life is malash. It, 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 it's yeah. It says here, right? Yeah, it says right. Shavei yovel lerosh hashanah l'tkiya. And he says, it's oh, Shaveh, the Yovel of Rosh Hashanah to the Tiyah, the Brachot. Rabbi Yudah, Omer, Rabbi Yudah says, the Rosh Hashanah, talking about Zecharim, and Yovel, and Yovel, and Yovel, and Rosh Hashanah, they used to do Zecharim, and Yovel, they used to do Yelim. So he flipped the Mishnah. Okay, there's Rabbi Yudah, he flipped the Tanakam. Fine. It says, the Gemara, Amar Rabbi Levi, says Rabbi Levi, Mitzvah of Rosh Hashanah, and Yom Kippurim, and Kfufim. The Mitzvah of Rosh Hashanah and Kippur is going to be in Kfufim. And the Kol Hashanah, and all of the week, all of the year, Bipshutin is going to be Bipshutin. So says the Gemara, what are you talking about? I thought that we just learned in our Mishnah that the Shofar of Rosh Hashanah is the Yael Pashut. So what are you telling me now the Mitzvah of Rosh Hashanah and Kippur is Bikfufin? You just told me in the Mishnah it's Bipashut. Pashut means it's straight, not Kapuf, not bent. So says the Gemara, who the Amar Kreb Yudah Bitran, he said like a Yudah as we learned in the Mishnah of Yudah Meh, Rosh Hashanah, you took him Mishal Zechayim Kufim, you have no Mishal Yenim. He says no. That means he held like the safe of the Mishnah, the, the latter part of the Mishnah, which is like a Yehuda, that in Rosh Hashanah they used to also use Kafuf, and only in Yovel they used to use Yehelim. Okay? So I asked the Gemara, Ve'leima hilchata kab Yehuda. So just say the Alakha, like a Yehuda, v'gamano. So says the Gemara, no. If you're going to tell me the Alakha, like a Yehuda, I mean, I would have thought to say that even if Yovel also is like a Yehuda, Kamash Manan, that he argues on a Yehuda to do with Yovel. He only agreed with a Yehuda to do with the Shofar of Rosh Hashanah, but not of the Yovel. 
the Maika Mipalgia. What is the Machloka between them, really? So, more Savar Berosh Hashanah, Kama Bekaifin Nishtatet Female. The one Rabbi Yuda holds that on Yom Adin, the more that you're going to be kafuf, you're going to be mashpil et atzicha, meaning tori de taf. Yeah, tori de taf. No specifically, tori de taf. The more that you're going to be tori de taf, you're going to be kafuf, you're going to bend yourself, you're going to subjugate yourself to Akash Baruch the better that it is. That's on Rosh Hashanah. Yom HaKippurim, it's the exact opposite. Kama de pashiti nishtatet female. The more that you're straight, it's going to be better. What does that mean? When you bend, when you bend yourself down, it means that you're, you're, you're not straight. It's not a straight shooter. You're, bending, you're, you're bowing down. Everything is to Hashem. So therefore, you don't mention sins. You don't do it. Why? Kofef. You are serving Mamlich. Hashem. That's it. Mamlich. When it's to do it, that's Rosh Hashanah. Comes on Yom Kippur, it's the exact opposite. Kama the, you have to be straight. It's better to be straight on Rosh Hashanah. In Taniyot, the more that you're going to be bent, it's going to be bent. So says the Gemara, Upid Mitzupe Zahar, Kavzayna Mudalef. Right, 2071 on the top. Yeah? So says the two, the two dots, Upid Mitzupe Zahar. But Tanya Tzipahu, we learned in Brighta, Brighta that you're going to Tzipahu, shh, you're going to be Mitzipahu, Zahar Bim Komana Chapi Fasul, that if you came and you actually put the Tzipui of Zahav instead of, uh, right, Bim Komana Chapi, it's going to be Fasul. Shlo Bim Komana Chapi Kasher, but if it's not in the place, it's going to be kosher, which means like this. Right? When you're going to come and you're going to put the piv, you're going to cover it. Now you're blowing through that. So if you're going to put whether it's gold or silver or anything on the place where you're blowing the shofar, you just made a pasul. But if it wasn't in Kona Chapiv, then you could make it. That means if you already wanted to come and start designing your shofar mm-hmm. with gold or silver, don't put it with a mouthpiece. Put it on the top and put it somewhere else. So Rabbi, you're right. You're right. It's not a on the mouthpiece. So the mouthpiece has to be directly from your mouth to the shofar. Okay? Fine. Then we said, there were two chatzotzot on the sides in order to blow the shofar. Can you hear two kolot? Yeah. Meaning you can't hear different sounds. Meaning when you come and you hear a whole bunch of sounds together, you can't pinpoint the sound because you're hearing too many things at the same time. Right? It's like in the middle of a shiur and too many people are talking. You can't concentrate on the shiur. There's just people that, yeah, or you're on the phone. You can't concentrate on the shiur. But then we learned right. Right? Shamor v'zachor was an exception to the rule. Usually you cannot say something in the same time with two, with two, said, two sayings in the same time. And you cannot hear two things. Here was a miracle. HaKadosh Baruch Hu zachor v'shamor b'dibur echad. And everybody was, he was able to say it. Obviously it was HaKadosh Baruch Hu, HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And we were able to hear it as well. That, that was both, it was a, that was the miracle. So he says, lekach marich v'shofar. He says, you're right. That's why the shofar has taken longer in order that we're able to hear the shofar. So says, gemira l'meimra d'chi shama soft kiyah. So if you're going to tell me if you only hold, heard the end of the tkiah without the beginning of the tkiah, you're going to be in the chuvah. Right, so tkiah yitzah, or the other way around. If you heard the beginning of the tkiah without the end of the tkiah, you do. But here, what's happening? Everybody was listening at the same time to all the music. So you don't hear the beginning of the tkiah. Only when they stop the chatzot, now the shofar is longer, now you hear it. So soft tkiah, the end of the tkiah is going to be in the chuvah, even though you didn't hear the beginning. Tashima, we're going to, we're going to write that. Imagine right now you went and you did the first tekiya before the trua properly. Then mashach b'shniya, then the second tekiya, you went long like a double one. It's only one. Am I why? It should be hold like two. two. Meaning like this, I went two, 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 That last two should be counted as twice. Why twice? Because since I went such a long time, I could actually split it up into two. And you don't need the beginning, you don't need the end, because as long as you heard it, you heard it. So says the Gemara, We don't mechalek, meaning we don't, unless at the end of the day, it was one tkia. Meaning since you didn't make a pasek in the middle, right? So therefore what happens is, right, there was no sex. So because of that, it's going to be all in one. Says the Gemara, Tashima, we're going to bring another proof. If you're going to blow inside of a pit, or on top of another pit, which is basically in the, in the water. Or inside of a pitam. In kol shofar shama, right? He says, if you heard, right? The kol shofar, yatsa. You're going to be in tzal chova. In kol havara, right? And if right now you're going to have a kol havara, shama, right? Lo yatsa. That means if you heard the actual voice of the shofar, you're in tzal chova. But if you only heard an echo, you're not going to be in tzal chova. Am I why? One second. Before the echo came, it was the original voice. So you should be tzilchova because of the original voice. You're right. The echo comes later. Oh, oh, oh. You know, like you hear the echo later on. But at the beginning, it's the original voice. 
So says the Gemara, El atat tekalem echad gavra lo mishama. You're right. Two voices from the same person, you don't hear it. That you don't hear. Okay? Mitre gavra, but if they're two different people, then you do hear it. Because it's two different people. From the same person, you can't hear it. But if there's two different people, yes. So says the Gemara, Mitre gavra lo mishama. Even if it's two different people, you hear it. But we learned in the Braita. But Torah echad kore vechamet again. Whenever you have the Kriyat Torah, they used to do like the Temanim of nowadays. They used to do the Kriyat Torah and then they used to have a Metargem on the Torah. So it says one person would read the Torah and one person would read the Targum, the Unkelos. Right? As long as you don't have two, one person right, reading and two people that are actually coming with Targumim. So you see that what? That even if they're going to be the Kolot of the Targumim, they're not going to be listened at the same time. So even two Kolot from two different people are not going to be heard. So it says the Gemara, you're right. Halodam yali le seifa. It's only domain to the seifa. Ba alelu ba megila. Filu asara kori. To do with mahalel or the megila. Even if ten people are coming and they're reading the alel or the megila, al masi si from yekem de chaviv yaviv dete. If something is so precious, you'll pay attention. If something is so precious to you, you'll pay attention to it. Hachanami so to hear yekem de chaviv yaviv dete v'shama. Since it's so chaviv, you're going to place your mind on it and you're going to listen to it. Okay. El alama menit la shofar. So says the Gemara, so why are you going to be Marich and the Shofar? So he says, Leida she mitzvah tayom the Shofar. To teach you that the mitzvah tayom is in the Shofar. That's why you're being Marich and the Shofar. Fine, then the two dots says, Utaniyot v'shal zecharim kufim 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 v'shal zecharim Why is it that on one of them you're doing of zahav, right? And then the other one you're doing of kesef, which means one of Rosh Hashanah, it's gold, right? And then the other one is going to be a man of kesef. So says the Gemara, Ibaitim, if you want, you can answer, Kul kinufya. Any tekiah which is made for kinus, which is like the tekiah of taniyot, right? Kesefu, it's made out of silver. Why? Because it's bringing everybody together. It's bringing everybody together. So it's bringing everyone together. So anything which is like an, an assembly, making everyone together, together, you made it out of silver. And that's when it brings everyone together. If you want, you can answer another answer. They didn't want us to spend so much money. So they didn't tell us that you had to do it of zahav. Zahav is obviously much more expensive than kesef. Gold is worth more than silver. So because of that, they didn't want... So says the Gemara, so Hatanami, so then also Rosh Hashanah, you get out of silver then. If you're already telling me that the Tutraya is worried about our money, so also the Rosh Hashanah should be out of silver, not, not gold. So says the Gemara, Filoach is still Kvod Yom Tov Adif. It's Kvod Yom Tov. Meaning the one of Ta'aniyot, it's not a Yom Tov. So you do it out of silver. One of Rosh Hashanah is Yom Tov. Do it out of gold. Says the Gemara, the Papa Bar Shemuel, the Sava Lamei Ruv, the Kimat Nitin. So the Papa Bar Shemuel, he wanted to do like the case, just like our Mishnah, which means he wanted to be Tukian and Rosh Hashanah and Tanitibur with Chatzotrot and Shofrot together. So Amalei Rabba Rabba says, Lo Amru Lo Amru La Bebidash. You can only do that in Bet Bebidash. Meaning outside of the Bet Bebidash, you don't do together the Chatzotrot and Shofrot. Meaning somebody comes and says, you know what, Rabbi, I like today's Daf. I want to do the Chatzotrot and the Shofrot together. No, only in the Bet Bebidash. It was the only place you could do it together. Other than that, you don't do it together. Tanya Miachi was learned in the Brayta, but Medom Rimuni one of these words by Bebidash. But in the Gvulim, but in the Gvulim, which is outside of the Bet-Midash, no. the place where they have the Chatzorot in Bashofar, yeah. right, sorry, in Tokim Bashofar, but the place that they have a Shofar, they're not going to use the Chatzorot. When it came from the Chachamim, they said, we were not going to go to the Chachamim, the Chachamim was only to do the Chachamim, and the Chachamim was only to do the Chachamim, the Chachamim was only to do the Chachamim, was only to do the Chachamim, and the Chachamim together, in the Eastern Gate, and the Chachamim only. Other than that, never. So Amar Rav Avi Tamer Mishol Nevi says Rav and Sabi says Mishol Nevi. My car was a pasuk. The Chetiv it says in pasuk. But Chatzor bekosh varilu fina Melech Hashem. Mitnei Melech Hashem who do bayina. In front of the Melech Hashem is that what it means? Chatzor bekosh varav ba'alma lo. That means only in front of the Melech Hashem, which is in the eastern gate of the Bet Hamidash. That's when you have Chatzor bekosh shofar together, the Chatzor and the Kol Shofar. But if not, it's never together. It's always the Shofar by itself or the Chatzor by itself. Next two dots. Shavia Yovel le Rosh Hashanah tkiyav le Berachot. So we just said that Yovel is equal to Rosh Hashanah tkiyat le Berachot. Who do we, what are we exactly praying nowadays in Musaf of Rosh Hashanah? We say in the Zichronot on Musaf of Rosh Hashanah, What does that mean? This is the day of Rosh Hashanah. It's the Zikaron of the first day of creation. So obviously that's going like Rabbi Yezid. Because Rabbi Yezid says, When was the world created? In Tishri. So because if you're going to go according to Rabbi Yoshua, it was in Nisan. So when we say, And we're on Rosh Hashanah, which is Tishri, that's going like Rabbi Yezer and not like Rabbi Yoshua. So Mativ Ravena, Ravena comes and he asks the following question. You just said that the Rosh Hashanah is equal to Tzikiyot and Brachot. You're not going to say on Yovel, because remember, when is this? It's on Kippur. Right? You do the Yovel. So you're not going to do, say, It's not Yom Rishon. Right? And that's Tzikronot. So he said, Yovel, you're not going to say, because it's on Kippur. So says, you're right. We're talking about everything else other than this. 
other than this part. Rav Shisha Vira Davidi Matni Achel, Rav Shisha Vira Davidi actually learned like this. Amar Rav Shmuel Beitzrat says Rav Shmuel Mitzah had done that which we learned. Shavei Yovel Roshna Tiyav LeBrachot Kemanu is going right. The Lok Rav Liazer is not like going like Rav Liazer. Here Rav Liazer was if it's going to be like Rav Liazer. Kevin Damar since Rav Liazer said the Shnim Raolam Hayikaz Yom Tchelam Sechet is going to be Mishon. The Rav Shmuel Ita Yovel Leta. So says the Gemara. The exact same. That means basically it was a different Girsa of the other way around. That is saying that it's not like Rabbi Yezer. Because the first one was saying that we go like Rabbi Yezer, not, uh, Rabbi Yezer, not like Rabbi Yoshua. Now it's a question. We're not going like Rabbi Yezer. And it says, I know we're going like everything else. It's like Rabbi Yezer, which means that we're not specifically speaking about this part of the Zichronot. Because this part of the Zichronot, it's not like that. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.